Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Quick Scopes. Today we have the Air Max One Eighty Seven Obsidian Gorge Green, and that is in Obsidian White Midnight Navy. There is some Gorge Green as well on this pet. Let me take this opportunity to ask you to like, leave your thoughts, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Ah uh, yeah, purchase links for these in the description. Stay tuned for the on foot. So yeah, let's start from the soles up. So we have a gum outsole with a tiny bit of speckling. Very, very interesting. Looks like a regrind material, but we haven't been told this. For the midsole, we have a white midsole with an obsidian air unit. And then we come to this upper. So this upper is composed of um, a couple different materials. If we take a look at the toe, you'll see that we have that gorge green on the mudguard. And on that mudguard as well, we have a mini swoosh, which is white and purple. Very, very nice. The toe box is a kind of tool material, and that is in obsidian. Quite a nice, got a nice sheen to it as well. Very, very nice. And then going up the shoe, you'll see that we have navy for the Euphro. This is like one of those weird kind of felty suede materials. The laces, navy laces, far, far too thin for my liking. I do not like these laces, but I do like the aglets on them. Those are very, very nice in chrome. Going up the shoe, you'll see that we again have that obsidian twill kind of material for the tongue. And then at the top of the tongue, you'll see that we have a white and navy blue tongue tab with the lettering, the Nike lettering and swoosh in navy. Also, the top eye stay is very nice in chrome, matching the... If we take a look at the mid portion of the shoe, you'll see the upper is mainly composed of that navy blue kind of suede feltish material. And then we have this swoosh, which does feel like a almost a rubberized um, material. Um, and that's in white, very, very nice. So we go towards the fox end of the shoe, you'll see that the collar, again, is similar to the tongue and the toe box in that obsidian kind of twill. And then as we come to the heel of the shoe, you'll see that we have the Nike in block letters um, with the white outline in purple. Very, very nice. I do like that. And that is similar to the mini swoosh. See the heel in all its glory in this shoe stack case. As you can see, we've got the drop front edition in black. Very, very nice. Purchase links and everything else in the description. If you take a look inside the shoe, you'll see that the sock liner is obsidian, but it's got that nice sheen to it that we've seen previously on this shoe. And then the insole is navy blue with that swoosh outline in white. Let me know what you think of this pair. For me, not bad, not bad. There are some things that I do like about it and there's some things that I dislike about it. Um, the colors are okay. I think they're decent. Um, it's an interesting mix, the blue and the green and that very, very dark obsidian. But I do like that twill kind of material on the toe. It's very interesting, very nice. Um, the colors, not bad. What I do like about this shoe is that there's certain aspects of it which sort of go together well. So, for example, the chrome on the lace tips, on the aglets and the top eyelet. They go together very, very nicely. The mini swoosh around the toe in that white and purple and the heel. Very, very nice. The outline for the Nike, really, really nice. Oh, and also the toe box, that kind of twill material and the shiny um, sock liner. Those go together very nice. But all in all, this pair doesn't really wow me. The green is pretty nice and the blue is pretty nice but i'm just not sure about how i would have arranged it maybe i would have used a different color than the blue or a different color to the green but i like both colors but not necessarily on this shoe one thing i do like is that white and purple on the green as well it does remind me of wimbledon i don't know why it's just the colors of wimbledon tennis to me and i really do like that but let me know what you think of them 
I give these a 7 out of 10. I think the colorway is it's okay. It's a decent pair, but it's nothing really to write home about. I think there has been better pairs of Air Max 1s to come out this year. But as like I said, let me know what you think. Did you pick these up? Um, are these a must cop? Remember, purchase links for these in the description. Stay tuned for the on foot. I've been Scopes. Thank you everybody for subscribing, sharing your thoughts. It is always appreciated. Signing out. See ya!